All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another project going on today. If you can remember, just a few weeks ago, um, one of the videos we posted up, we were cutting some trees down by the pole barn, and I said, hey, we're putting in solar. So we're going to be putting on solar panels today on the pole barn. Uh, we're using ADT Solar, so, and hey, I'm not recommending them. I'm not recommending any solar company. You guys choose what you want to do. We just felt like we wanted to move into the solar field just based upon the property where we live and what our application is. So we wanted to bring it to you today. So we're gonna show you some videos of them installing the solar panels onto our pole barn. Um, we didn't want it on our house, so we put it on our pole barn. That way it was in and out of the way. Um, it's not very noticeable if you're driving up the driveway. It's kind of kind of hidden, I guess you could say, because you know some people, they just don't like the aesthetic look of solar panels. So that's what we chose to do. So stick tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys, one thing I wanted to tell you, see these vans right here? You guys know our driveway if you watch the channel. So check out some of those videos, how you box blade it and stuff like that, because we're going to have to do the box blading where we're going to have to clean it back up because this bad boy was spinning this van right here. Never had one of these vans up on this hill. So what do we have to do? We had to use the F-250 truck diesel to pull it up the hill. So we put some straps on there for the, to tow it up and got it up here so they could work. So. Just wanted to tell you guys that I thought it was pretty funny. So let's get back in here and show you what these panels look like. Show you how they're putting them on the roof. So as you guys know, we have two panels here that go to the pole barn for the generator. And then the other one goes to the house. The one on the left goes to the house. One on the right goes to the pole barn. That way the whole house generator from Kohler can utilize those. So our actual, what do you call this thing? big distribution panel thing it has tons of panels on it now main panel right there ADT put this one on the right for the solar and there's another one on the left so it's pretty full now and we're trenching here we're gonna be going to the pole barn so let me show you what these solar panels look like we're gonna be using a, um, a trencher here that trencher right there and then here's the solar panels we do have to do a little bit of trenching by hand because where the water lines are we don't want to utilize it so we have this full truck full and I'm on this side all right so let's show you what these got these solar panels look like and these are what size are these Let's see, they're about four by six, it looks like. And we have 24 of them they're gonna put up. So that's what they look like. We'll show you how to bracket them onto the roof and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we got the uh, trenching done. Kind of curved there. We had to curve around the uh, where the propane wires were, and then we leveled it out down to here, and then we tried to get a 90 into the building. Now, if you guys remember, we put a water line in here, and we have to hand dig around through it to get to the barn here. But we're going to be putting a exterior box on the barn it's not going to go inside the barn so once again there's the trench just kind of show you guys how they're laying it all out they're putting these brackets on the roof and then they'll have some rails that go on those and the solar panels will sit on top of those safety first make sure you guys are harnessed up Last thing you want to do is fall off a roof. All right, see how it's got the rails on. Now we're starting to wire. And then they'll hook the solar panels up to it. They're running the wires right now up there. I'll show you what the, what the rails look like. 
electricians are pulling the wire through to set it up on the box. Got all the boxes in. We have a solar panel box there on the side of the barn. He's putting the ground rod in right now. They're carrying all the things, panels up, hooking them up on the barn. All right, guys, so they got it all wrapped up. Um, it ended up bleeding over into the next day. They had to work into the dark. So the install took, well, let's see here, a full day, probably an eight-hour day. They got here about 8 o'clock in the morning and left about 8 o'clock. So they were um, here quite a long time. It was a more complicated and complex job from what they told me. Just because we have the generator here and all the different things that we have kicked off the generator. So we have the pole barn off the whole house generator as well as our, our house. So once again, we have the cooler generator. The one on the left goes to the house and the one on the right goes to the pole barn. That way in the event any electric gets kicked off, our pole barn will be always have electric to it with the um, generator. Then we have our main meter right here in the middle. On the right is the solar connection line, which taps into that. And then we have the Easton on the left, which is the actual solar um, box there. And then, so they trenched right here, as you've seen. So this is gonna, it's, it's not too bad. It'll settle fairly quick. Um, then we had a box that was put on there, which is pretty much the brains of the solar panels. And then the conduit that was, it's ran up to the panels. As you can see, it's very, um, hit away. So it's on the backside of our pole barn. And if you've watched the channel, there's nothing out here on this backside. This is just barren, um, field and woods behind where our house and pole barn is so we don't have any worry for anybody uh, viewing that because I know a lot of people their concerns are the aesthetic look of solar panels but just want to kind of walk you around and show you it took about almost three-fourths of the well this is the west side I apologize this is the east side of the pole barn um, from what I was told is the morning sun is stronger than the evening sun so we had they put it on there their engineers engineered it all up we have 24 panels up on the roof you can see how the rails um, went onto the brackets and then the solar panels actually mount onto the rails there let me zoom in here So you have two panels on top of each other for two rows. So here's where the conduit comes up out of the ground into the brains of the system. 
I know they put a lot of labels on it, that's for sure. I've seen a lot of red labels and a lot of different labels. Conduit matches really well with the, the barn, the gray goes up. The good thing is that's not on the side where people will see all the time. Then we have our ground, obviously hooks into the structure and then our ground rod. This is a eight foot ground rod is what it called for. I would have liked to have seen it. We probably should have put it back closer to the barn about six inches because this is going to be potentially a trip hazard as you've seen in the past how we've started to make our walking path around the pole barn um, we still need to put some more gravel on there but it sits pretty low to the to the roof see right there you lost it so you know it, it's it's one of those things where we got this installed what's today's day today's december the 30th so Yesterday, December 29th, was the last day, working day, Friday, um, of the year. And the good thing about that is that there's tax credits out there for solar installation. And so we are going to be able to utilize that tax credit this year for 2023 taxes. So they basically put it in right at the end of the wire. And so we're pretty happy about that but they are pricey but in the long run we feel and the reason we put it in is we feel that it's going to go ahead and uh, sustain us into the future um, to where you know as utility rates and energy rates go up ours will maintain the same so we'll, once they're completely paid off which shouldn't be too long especially with that uh tax credit that we will be no longer paying a utility bill so that'll help obviously as you grow in age so but hey i appreciate you all coming back to the channel i hope you enjoyed i know this was a quick short video and kind of off a lot of topics that we normally do but wanted to get definitely give you this install or not install but you know how they install installed the the product but also how it fits on on the pull barn and what we're moving on the process. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time here at Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see ya.